simplify and solve the following linear equations. This exercise is in continuation with our previous interaction on exercise 2.5 chapter 2nd maths class 8th linear equations in one variable. Now we would solve question number 6 m minus m minus 1 over 2 equals to 1 minus m minus 2 over 3. This time we have our variable as small letter m. We will first of all separate our variable on left hand side and constants on right hand side. So let's do the same. m can be written in fractional form as m over 1. So we wrote the same. Minus m minus 1 over 2 we wrote as it is. Now we see forward on right hand side for any variable term. We can see we have variable term as m minus 2 over 3 of negative. This negative is for this complete term that is m minus 2 over 3. We need to transpose it towards left hand side. Here it is negative. Here it will become positive. So we wrote plus m minus 2 over 3 as it is. Now equals to as it is. On right hand side we had our constant as 1. So we wrote 1 as it is. Since we have performed our separation step. Now we would look at the denominator. Well they are not common. So we will use our fun approach. That we have studied in last 5 questions which you would like to see for a better understanding. So we took the bigger number. 3 is the bigger number. Can we reach 3 from 2? Well we cannot because 2 to the 4 it will exceed. So we increase its multiple and we can do increasing by multiplication only. So 3 to the 6. Keep 6 in our mind. Can we reach 6 from 2? Well yes 2 3 is a 6 and we can reach any number from 1. So we need not to check it. We wrote 6 followed with this bigger line. Now 1 6 is 6. So 6 has to be multiplied in numerator as well so that our value doesn't change. So 6m. This minus as it is 2 3 is a 6. We need to multiply 3 with this complete term in numerator that is m minus 1. So we wrote 3 and bracket inside it we write m minus 1 so that we don't get puzzled. This plus as it is 3 2 is a 6. Now we need to multiply 2 with this complete term. So we wrote it inside bracket. So 2 followed with bracket inside we wrote m minus 2 equal to 1 as it is on right hand side. Now let's open up the bracket. 6m as it is minus 3 is getting multiplied with m minus 1. So we have to do individually. Minus 3 into m is minus 3m. Minus minus is plus. So we write plus 3 into 1 is 3. Now this term plus 2 into m is plus 2m. Plus minus is minus 2 to the 4. So minus 4. Equal to as it is. Now let's transpose this 6 on denominator towards right hand side. It will get multiplied with 1. So 1 into 6 is 6. So you see the steps which are easier. We perform them mentally. Now let's solve left hand side. 6m minus 3m will give us 3m. Now 3m plus 2m gives us 5m. So we wrote 5m. So we can perform easy calculations in our mind. Now we have constant as 3 and minus 4. Different signs we are going to subtract it and sign will come of greater number. That is minus 1. Because 3 minus 4 is 1 with greater sign that is minus. E equal to 6 as it is. Now let's transpose minus 1 towards right hand side. It will get added up with 6. So 6 plus 1 gives us 7. And in our mind we were left with 5m on left hand side. In this very step let's transpose 5 towards right hand side. It will get divided up. So 7 divided with 5. And m is separated. And its value came as equal to 7 over 5. With this our 6th question is completed. So the important point to note from this question is that we need not to write steps again and again. Certain things which we are comfortable with we can do in our mind and straight away write it. Question number 7. 3 is getting multiplied with 2 minus 3 on left hand side equals to 5 is getting multiplied with 2t plus 1 on right hand side. In the first step let's open the bracket because we cannot see any other step right now. So 3 into t gives us 3t minus 3 3 is a 9 equal to as it is 5 into 2t that is 10t plus 5 into 1 is 5. Our bracket is open. Now let's separate our variables. Now let's do again in our mind. 3t we have on left hand side. Let's watch out for another variable. We have positive 10t on right hand side. When we will transpose it towards left hand side in our mind. Its sign would change to negative 10t. So 3t minus 10t. Different signs we will subtract in our mind. It will come 7t. 
and sign will come of greater number so here it would be minus because minus 10 is greater so minus 70 equal to as it is 5 we have on right hand side when we will transpose minus 9 towards right hand side it will get added up so 5 plus 9 will give us 14 simple we have a cancelling opportunity 1 7 is 7 2 7 is 14 we are left with minus sign followed with t that gives us minus t on left hand side equals to 2 on right hand side now let's multiply this equation on both sides with minus so minus minus will become plus t here plus minus will give us minus 2 we perform this step because our ultimate aim is to separate our variable and leave it with positive sign and whatever it equates to is our solution of our equation that's why we got rid of this negative sign by multiplying both sides with minus 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 became plus and here plus minus became minus 2. So in this way our question number 7th is completed. Question number 8th. 15y minus 4. That is 15 is getting multiplied with y minus 4. Minus 2 is getting multiplied with y minus 9. Plus 5 is getting multiplied with y plus 6 equal to 0. First step. It's very obvious. We have to open the bracket. So 15 into y gives us 15y. Minus 15 4 is 60 minus 2y minus minus is plus so plus 9 to the 18 plus 5 is getting multiplied with y so 5y plus plus is plus 5 6 is 30 equal to 0 now let's try to solve it we have 15y minus 2y it will give us 13y and 13y plus 5y will give us 18y so we wrote 18y now for the constants we have minus 60 18 that is of positive plus 30 First, let's solve this. Minus 60 plus 30. Different signs we have to subtract in our mind. That will give us 30 with sign of bigger number. So minus 30 in our mind we have. And when we subtract them, minus 30 and 18, we get minus 12. That is equal to 0. Now let's separate our variables. 18 by as it is on left hand side. Let's transpose minus 12 towards right hand side. It will become plus 12. We have a cancelling opportunity which we have shown color coded. So two nines are 18. 2, 6 is 12. Again, 9 and 6 can be further reducible. So 3, 3 is a 9. 3, 2 is a 6. So in our mind, we have 3y equal to 2. Now let's transpose 3 towards right hand side. It will get divided up with 2. So y is left that equates to 2 over 3. So as your practice increases while solving linear equations in one variable, you can perform various steps in your mind in order to find your solution of the equation. That completes our question number 8th. Question 9th. 3 is getting multiplied with 5z minus 7. Minus 2 is getting multiplied with 9z minus 11. That equates to 4 is getting multiplied with 8z minus 13 minus 17. So whenever we observe brackets, we first open it. 5z is a 15 followed with z. So we have 15z minus 7 3 is a 21 minus 9 to the 18z minus minus is plus therefore this plus came 11 into 2 is 22 equals to 8 4 is a 32 followed with z plus minus is minus so we wrote minus 13 into 4 is 52 in case you don't remember tables 4 3 is a 12 1 is carried 4 into 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 that is 52 minus 17 as it is so never go with the same approach. You can operate numbers in various forms. The idea is to make calculations simpler. So we can straight away solve it in order to reduce certain high quantities. So let's do the same prior separating it. So 15z we have minus 18z. Different signs and sign will come of negative obviously and we have to subtract it. So 15 minus 18 will give us minus 3z. Here, minus 21 and plus 22. Different signs subtracted and sign will come of greater number. That is plus. So plus 1. In the same step, we can transpose 32z towards left hand side. It will become minus 32z. So equal to as it is. We are only left with minus 52, minus 17 to be operated. Same signs. We are going to add them up and sign will come of negative itself. So 7 plus 2 is 9. 5 plus 1 is 6. So minus 69. So you see how we simplify this complete without writing the steps again and again. That is with a traditional way we would have first separated it and then solved it. So whenever you get the hint to solve the equation you can do it mentally. Simultaneously you can separate the variables. The idea is that you have to reach your destination correctly. So we are left with this equation. Now let's solve it further. 
minus 3z minus 32z same signs we are going to add them up and sign will remain same so 32 plus 3 is 35z followed with same sign that is negative equal to minus 69 on right hand side let's transpose this towards right hand side it will become minus 1 so same signs in our mind we are going to add it up 69 plus 1 is 70 followed with same sign that is of negative now we rewrote the equation so that you don't get puzzled minus can be cancelled with minus so we did with deep black color here and it is straightforward 35 to the 70 so we can cancel it straight away 135 is a 35 and 235 is a 70 in this way z is positive and we have to get our values in positive only that equates to 2 which is the solution of our question number 9th so the idea you get from these questions that is when you reach higher higher standards you don't have to write everything you can perform certain things in your mind until you find the calculation easier to solve in your mind and if it isn't this way you can write it down with this we have reached last question of this exercise 2.5 question number 10 which is 0.25 is getting multiplied with 4f minus 3 that equates to 0 0.05 is getting multiplied with 10f minus 9. Never dive into the question straight away. First, always visualize that what you can do in order to solve it very easily. So if you observe here, 0.25 and 0 0.05 are common. That is, we can straight away operate on them. And the values are also divisible because we have 5 on our units place. That is, it will be divisible with 5. And you observe one very good thing. That is, we have two decimal places on both these things. That is, in our mind, if we divide it, we'll get over 100 on left hand side and over 100 on right hand side as well. So we can straight away cancel it. So the same has been shown color coded. That is, in green color, we have canceled this decimal because they are having at same places. So what are we left in our mind? 25 and 5 only, which we can further cancel and which we have shown in different color. That is, in red color. So 1 5 is a 5. 5 5 is a 25. We rewrote the equation so that you don't get puzzled. Finally, we are left with 5 is getting multiplied with 4f minus 3 and 1 is getting multiplied with 10f minus 9. And multiplying with 1 simply means the term as it is because 10f minus 9 into 1 is 9. The same thing as it is. So now let's open the bracket. 5 into 4 is 20f minus 5 3 is a 15 equal to this as it is because it is getting multiplied with 1. So 10f minus 9 as it is. So you see, this was just a confusion. If you would have started with multiplication, you would have gone a long way. So always try to minimize your equation and never dive into question straight away. First visualize that what you could do in order to perform your equations easily. So this is our equation right now. Now let's separate and try to solve in our mind. So 20f minus 10f because it will get transposed towards left hand side. It will become minus. It will give us 10f simple equal to as it is minus 9 plus 15 when it will be transposed towards right hand side it will become plus 15 different signs we are going to subtract it so first let's subtract it 15 minus 9 gives us 6 and sign will come off positive because this will be greater when we will transpose it towards right hand side and it will be followed with plus sign therefore positive 6 came it's simple to solve now f as it is equal to 6 over 10 because we have transposed this 10 towards right hand side it gets in division. Now since our question was in decimal representation, let's represent our answer in decimal itself. So f equals to 0.6. It is simple, you know it very well from your previous standards how to write fraction into decimal whenever denominator is a multiple of 10. For a revision, you write the number as it is in numerator. So we have 6. Count the number of zeros. We have 1. So just place after one decimal place from your right side towards left side. So point and you can write 0 so that you don't get puzzled. So 0 0.6 is the decimal representation of 6 over 10. With this, our question number 10 is also completed. And that completes the exercise 2.5 Mathematics Class 8 Chapter 2 Linear Equations in One Variable.